My name is Brian. I'm here with Trail Tech. Um, we are going to show you today how to test a stator. Um, basically do a bench test to make sure that it's functioning the way that it should. Resistance values are good and there's no shorts in any of the wires. Um, I will be using a fluke multimeter and I'm um, showing you exactly what you need to do to test your stator. First thing to do is to get your meter set up. Uh, make sure that you are in these slots, not on amps. Um, you should see the voltage, the ohm symbol, and the audio symbol for continuity. First thing to check is continuity. You're going to set your meter to the audio symbol. And what we're looking for is to hear a beep between a circuit. So the two yellow wires are what we're going to test first. This is your lighting output. When you set your probe in, you can kind of wedge it. And you should hear that nice beep means that there is fluid continuity through that circuit. We're also going to check the ignition circuit here where you can see the two wires soldered together. Again, one probe on one terminal, the other probe on the other, and that's what you want to hear. If you don't hear that beeping sound, then there's a break in one of these wires somewhere. Now you can check to make sure that there's no shorts by doing the same thing. You want to make sure that one of these wires is not shorting out to the coil or to the bike itself. So again, touch any of the wires like so and touch the coil. No beep is good when you're checking for shorts. You can do this against the frame with any other wire on the bike as well. If you hear a beeping noise then there's a wire that's frayed and is shorting out to the frame. The next thing that we're going to test is resistance. Um, so for this, same thing, you're going to have your stator sitting on the bench. You can also do this with it in the bike. It really doesn't make a difference. Um, but the nice thing about this test is you can do it with the bike off. It doesn't need to be running. We're just looking at resistance to make sure that these coils are all still in good working order. So just take your meter. Again, make sure you're in the right positions here. You want to be set to the uh, ohms, volts, and continuity setting, not the amps. Move your meter to the ohm symbol. Kind of looks like an upside down horseshoe. The omega symbol. Now, we want to check these two yellow wires. These are what's responsible for creating the, the output to charge your battery. These are the most often ones that are going to fail. If they fail. So basically you're going to take one probe, it doesn't matter which one you go where, just one to one side and the other to the other. If this stator is in good condition, it should be reading between 0.3 and 0.5 ohms. And as you can see, we're right in that range. 0 0.3, 0 0.4, it's perfect. Now we're going to move over and check the ignition circuit. Again, this is a little bit tricky because you have to get two probes in here but just basically wedge one and touch with the other. Make sure you have a good contact to get that nice reading there and looks like we're at 20.1 ohms. On this stator that is about perfect. You want to be between 18 and 21 ohms. So there we can see that the stator is in good working condition and should be working just fine when it's installed on the machine.